hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here how the heck are you my name is Tandy thank you so much for watching in today's video we are going to be doing a basically like an updated video on popular items that I've reviewed on this channel so if you are interested in seeing which products those are as well as if I still recommend them or not then keep on watching okay so the first video that I want to talk to you guys about is and I'll insert a video clip over here is the kiss ever easy lash trio whatever whatever is right um, also by the way a list of the corresponding videos that I'm referencing will be linked listed down below um, so yeah so these kiss ever easy lash trios I actually would still highly recommend them simply because I think that it's a great alternative to people who can't seem to just get the knack of applying regular strip lashes. If you guys did not know, I am a makeup artist, so I do actually use, I love to use trio lashes on my clients. I don't necessarily use the kiss ones all the time, but I do have trio lashes in my kit sometimes more often than not. Um, I kind of go in between different Different brands so I definitely would still recommend trio lashes I actually have a lash video coming up next week so if you guys aren't already make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and turn on your post notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload that video YouTube be tripping so make sure you definitely hit that notification bell another popular video that you guys seem to have liked the video where the white girl does my edges for the first time and shout out to Cami for being in that video. That was such a fun video to make. I definitely have talked to Cami since then and we're planning on doing another video so be on the lookout for that. Would I let her do my edges again? I mean, mm. <laughs> you know, I feel like I don't think that she did a bad job on my head. So yeah, I would let her do my edges again. I probably would coach her through it a little bit more. Next time she does my hair wouldn't be in a school setting. So there'd be a little bit more leeway. You know, she doesn't ha necessarily have like a instructor, you know, hounding her, looking over her work and stuff. You know what I mean? So I think it would be a lot more lax of a setting. Comment down below if you guys would be here for that video and we can definitely try to get that popping um, sooner than later. And if you are interested to see her do my hair again, let me know what kind of styles should she try or would you guys be more interested in me doing her hair or makeup or something? I don't know. Leave your suggestions down below in the comments. And I know this is the one y'all been waiting for, okay? Y'all been waiting for the tea on these 3D eyebrow wigs as I call them, but they're the 3D tattoo sticker eyebrows. And I'm actually wearing um, a style today. A lot, I get a lot of questions asked in the comments of that video. The video is doing really well too, by the way. So shout out to you guys for you know supporting me and watching and giving it a thumbs up it's got quite a lot more thumbs up than it does thumbs down so I appreciate it although you know we appreciate the thumbs downs to these eyebrow stickers a lot of you guys keep asking me sis do you still wear them how long do they last you know all these questions so I'm gonna tell you guys personally I do not still use these I simply am wearing them for the video you can see I haven't worn them much <laughs> but I don't know it's just an inconsistent product for me so I can't recommend it. Um, I feel like sometimes I'll have to redo it because it doesn't stick well or sometimes I'll have to keep adding in, you know, extra products because my brows are really, really sparse. Also, you guys, another thing about these, they did not last long on me at all. I guess because, and this is just what I gathered after using them a few times, my skin is super oily. So the oil is definitely going to break down the tattoo so not only am I having to apply extra product to it but it didn't last long like it literally only lasted me for the day like after I washed my face you know and I would go around my eyebrows you know what I mean but when I woke up the next day like the next morning my eyebrows are halfway gone so I gotta wipe them off and reapply them if I wanted to it ain't it child okay so not only do you not last long I gotta add extra product to you. No. 
because no i think there's definitely um a person out there who this may work for more so than me like maybe somebody who suffers from alopecia most people who suffer from alopecia like you wouldn't have any kind of brow hair you wouldn't necessarily have to you know fill in different areas where your brows kind of stick out and makes it look fake you know what i mean so yeah that's how I feel about those. A more recent video you guys seem to have been liking. The Fenty powder is definitely a stand in my book. You guys know I'm like <laughs> low-key obsessed with Rihanna. So I, I mean, I love the Fenty powder. I think it's great. I'm actually wearing it to day you know fenty once again is that girl definitely a thumbs up in my book i will continue to use this powder and i will probably keep repurchasing this powder it is my new go-to and once again thank you guys so much for the love and support on my videos i mean i've been on youtube since 2016 i believe so it's been a, a quite a journey i think more recently if you follow my channel i've definitely been a lot more consistent with it and I have noticed you know a lot of the support that you guys do show me so I want to continue giving you guys great videos like these in this video with that being said another video that you guys seem to have really liked is my slut box unboxing now you guys slut box I feel some type of way about it I canceled my membership simply because I felt like the box started off like really really nice right like it was very sex positive had like really good products that came in the box and then I felt like slut box kind of just had more misses than hits and if I'm spending $40 on something I want it to be a hit every single time you feel me I had to cancel my slut box because I just felt like I was wasting my money I like Amber Rose but I just feel like the slut box definitely has good intentions but where I think it lacks is I don't want to say the creativity behind the box, but I think just the type of products that was included in the box definitely, it just didn't do it for me, you know? It just wasn't it for me. I kind of low-key wouldn't mind subscribing back to the slot box simply because, you know, you got like free condoms and like lube and shit. I feel like who could ever have too many condoms and too much lube, you know what I mean? I've been thinking about maybe subscribing to something else, maybe similar, because I've seen that there are quite a few similar sex positive boxes out there, subscription boxes. So let me know down in the comments if you guys would like maybe a subscription service series on this channel. Um, I love reviewing products. You guys seem to like it when I review products. So comment down below any particular box that you might be interested in seeing me review. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. But yeah, those are the videos that I get the most comments on that I felt the need to basically come sit down, talk to you guys about, you know, what's the tea on these products because, you know, I review them and then I just don't talk about them again. I hope that you guys found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Do not forget, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, okay? And and turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified of my future uploads. And as a surprise, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a makeup giveaway, makeup and skincare, really. The one way that you can enter is by making sure that you follow me on Instagram at Tandy Colada. When you follow me on Instagram, I want you to send me a DM with an emoji. Hmm, but what emoji could it be? A lipstick emoji. So those are the two rules to get this makeup. Now let me show Show you guys okay i literally have this whole basket filled with makeup can you guys see that and i still have like several other things of makeup that i haven't thrown in here so yeah i need to get rid of a lot of makeup that i just i just hoard i guess if you would like to receive a goodie box filled with makeup those are the two steps to make sure that you get an entry share it with your friends and i hope to see you soon bye